Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Finally, the last day of 2020. Ready to let this year go. I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, and it has been a year that is for sure. So the last day, so I wanted to finish off this year with my final video of 2020 being my favorite products from this year. I'm just gonna get straight into it because there is a lot of products. At first I was like, wow, I don't have that many things. And then when I was putting everything together, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be a long video. So grab a snack, grab your coffee, and let's jump into it. Um, By the way, if you guys missed my last video, I did my best of ColourPop 2020. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Me and ColourPop are doing a giveaway in that video, just saying. So go check it out if you haven't already. All right, let's jump in to my 2020 beauty favorites. All products that did come out this year with the exception of like two products. But other than that, everything came out this year and these are my favorites. Uh, I just wanna say right away, there are a lot of products from two brands specifically, and I didn't mean to do that, but it just so happened to be that way. So let's start off with my favorite product probably this year. Um, it is an eyeshadow palette, and that is the Pure and Raw Beauty Christie palette. I absolutely love this palette, and I think I've used this palette more than any other palette since it came out. I say that I, if I could only have, I can't do one palette for the rest of my life. But if I could only have like three palettes for the rest of my life, this would be one of them. I absolutely love this. This launch was crazy. Christy literally broke the internet. Like it was insane. No Christie's palette was in my other video as well, my ColourPop one. But this palette also deserves to be in here as well because it is so good. The neutral side is my absolute favorite. I swear any palette that has those mustardy yellows and like poopy browns, I will eat it up. Absolute favorite. Colorful side, I absolutely love the colors that she chose. I, when I said this in my last video too, Christy knows how to pick colors for a palette. This palette is amazing and it's definitely probably one of my favorite, favorite things that came out this year. And I wanted to mention it first because it really is like one of my favorite palettes of all time. So I had to include this in here because I did get so much use out of it, especially the neutral side. I just think that she picked like the perfect neutrals and you guys can see it is very well loved. It's all dirty and I love it. That's what I have on my eyes right now. I like that perfect like grungy smoky eye and I love it. So I think I'm gonna go with foundations. I do have two of them and the first one I'm gonna talk about is the Milani Screen Queen foundation. This was actually I think the first video I did this year trying this out. This was like one of the first launches and um, I love this foundation. This is a new bottle. That's why it's like kind of looks new. So good. I used it a ton before I got the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Like, this foundation is so good. If you haven't tried it yet, you should. I love it so much. It has like such a nice finish. It just goes on the skin so nicely. It lasted through the day and this was definitely one of my favorites and still is one of my favorite foundations. I do switch back and forth between this one and the ColourPop Pretty Fresh, which is went in my last video. But yeah, this, so, so good. Milani does foundations well. I love their foundation. This foundation, I know that I just did a video on this, but it made it in my 2020 favorites, all right? The Fenty Powder Foundation. It's what I have on my face right now. I'm obsessed with it. I've been using this literally ever since I did that video. I'm obsessed with it. It's one of my favorite foundations ever. I love how it sits on my face. It makes my skin look literally flawless. Like, I'm looking at my face in the mirror right now and I just, it's, it's amazing. It's so good. And I am like truly obsessed with this and it did make its way to my 2020 favorites because it is just that good. It is not a super drying powder. It is so amazing. I absolutely love this. This is hands down one of my favorite foundations ever and I'm going to continue to use this. I don't know. I'm, I'm just obsessed with it. It's so fast and easy to use. It just, and it, I'm just obsessed with the way it makes my skin look. I'm truly head over heels for this foundation. So those were my two foundations from this year that definitely stood out to me the most. Move on to this one because this I definitely have used the hell out of. So that is the Alamod Cosmetics Bronzer Trios. Mine's a little dirty. This is a new one though. This came out with like new packaging for it. So this is a brand new one, but my other one was beat up. Like I used it so much this year. This is the one in medium tan and I just feel like it works the best for me. I love the bronzers in here. I use this just to like bronze and contour every single day. This highlighting shade is amazing. It really brightens up the under eyes and 
If you guys have not tried them yet, I 1000% recommend the Alomar Cosmetics Brighten and Bronzer Trios. They are just so good. The shade range is amazing and they're just this is definitely one of my favorite products that came out this year and has made it to my top drawer, my holy grail bronzer palette. I would like die without this. I love it so much and it's just like, it's perfect. The formula is amazing. It does have hyaluronic acid in them, I believe. So good. And it's not just like bronzing either. I do use it to contour, so the perfect undertone. They're not too warm, but they're not extremely cool tone either. They're just perfect. I love them. Um, I also used the blush trios so much this year as well, but these did not come out this year, but love them. Okay, I know this video is kind of all over the place. I didn't really like categorize this correctly, but now I'm just going to go into like brands because I do have a lot from certain brands. So this next brand killed it this year. I truly am obsessed with so many of their products, but I did pick a good amount that I really, really did love this year. And that is e.l.f. e.l.f. just really stood out to me a lot this year. They came out with so many good products. So the first product that definitely stood out to me the most this year from e.l.f. is their Putty Eye Primer. This is my absolute favorite eye primer ever. I have not touched another eye primer since this came out. I, and it's lasted me a while too. Like I'm, I have a pretty big dent in it and there's still some in here, but I just love this primer so much. It has enough grip to it where like shadows stick to it, but it's not super sticky to like where shadows can't blend on top of it. It's not drying on my eye. It is perfect. This is probably like my favorite product from e.l.f. ever. I love this and I will continue to buy this eye primer maybe until I find a better, a better one, but so far this one is just perfect. It cancels out all the veins on my eyes. It leaves a nice base for all my shadows. It is just perfect. One of my favorite products from e.l.f., but just as a whole this year, this definitely has stood out to me. And you have to like think about like this product because I just use it so much. I love it and it's amazing. Product from e.l.f. that has stood out to me this year was the Hydrating Camo Concealer. I could not really use the original camo. It was a little too dry for my under eyes, but when this came out, oh my god, I love this concealer so much. I am in the shade Light Sand and it is so good. It is, has so much coverage. It's not dry under the eyes and it just like leaves your under eyes so nice and hydrated. Just, I love e.l.f. so much because they're so cheap and I just... I love drugstore affordable like budget friendly makeup and this just is one of the best concealers at the drugstore hands down. Whenever somebody asks me like what's a good drugstore concealer I say this one because you can just go to like Target, wa like Walmart, whatever and just go pick this up and I'm just obsessed with it. It is so good and I love this concealer so much. Next thing that e.l.f. came out with this year was the palette with my friend Jay Kissa and I love this palette so much. I decorated it with my little stickers that were on there. This was absolutely one of my favorite palettes of this year. I just love it so much. I think it's just so perfect and this just screams just. I still can't get over how pretty this palette is. It's just like the perfect rainbow palette. The shimmers in here are amazing. The colors that she picked were just so good and even though they are like primary colors, the like pigment and just like Mm, it was so, so good. I killed it with this palette and it was definitely one of my favorites. I used it constantly. I love the purples in this palette as well. The blues in this palette are so good um, and it's just amazing. And I think of palettes that came out this year, this one definitely stands out to me the most as well. The last thing from e.l.f. were the little bite size palettes. These are so cute. I honestly don't remember what I had originally said like in my video when I filmed with them, but... Like, how can you go wrong for the price? Like, the formula was good for, like, I think, the, what, they were $3? Are you kidding me? And they're just so cute. I love little palettes like this, especially neutral palettes, which I will talk about in a little bit for another palette. But if I, I'm not somebody that, like, likes to buy big neutral palettes. So if I'm going to buy neutrals, I want, like, little minis that will just have exactly what I need. And I just love them. This little neutral palette was such a good one. I love the shimmers in here. Um, I really liked this one as well. This one was the Carnival Candy. Super pretty. Um, Truffles was really nice, and I liked this little rose one. This one was, uh, very bad. But yeah, these little, I just wanted to give these a little shout out because I did really like them. And I just feel like you can't go wrong for the price with these. They just, you just can't go wrong with e.l.f., honestly. Oh, the next brand, I promise, not intentional. I started putting everything together. I was like, that is a lot of products from none other than this Fenty Beauty herself. I'm sorry, but Fenty just kills it every time. My favorite, favorite, favorite product that Fenty came out with this year 
the slip shine lipsticks these are my absolute favorite I'm already out of this one I just got a restock of it I bought some new ones um, during the VIB sale these are amazing They're not super super sheer but they are just like the most amazing lipstick ever they smell amazing I have a whole video on these color the one I use the most is retro rose and it's just the perfect like shiny hydrating like sheer but not too too sheer lipstick and ew, retro rose is so good and I forgot the names of the other ones I have them like all right here in the store I just don't want to pull all of them out right now I said I've already bought another one because I've ran out already I use it that much if I just want to throw something on this is what I throw on if like this is just my go-to lipstick for anything like if I just want something like nice and subtle but I don't have any makeup on if I do have makeup on and I have a full face it just looks good with anything like Oh, these are so good definitely like one of my top 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 favorites from this year love this so much and that brings me to my next product I'm going to talk about this a little quick uh, very quickly because I do have videos on like pretty much everything that I'm talking about I think um and that is the pro kisser lip balms you guys know I love my tinted lip balms there's not too much to say about these they're hydrating they're nice and sheer this one is pinch me I just honestly throw this on when I'm like about to start filming or something just to give my lips some moisture some hydration and a nice little tint they're so good this is another product that I literally keep in my bag at all times I just throw this on and yeah you guys know tinted lip balms are like my favorite makeup product ever so when they came out with these two things I was like oh my god I don't have to use anything else ever again all right listen video on these products was controversial I still stand by what I said because it's true but that didn't mean I didn't use them and I didn't like them the cream blushes I like I said I still stand still don't think there is a lot of product in here for the price that you pay I know I haven't even hit pan on these but I still think that it is a little pricey for how much you get in here they are extremely small but they did snap with the formula um, I don't use these every single day obviously that's why I haven't hit pan on them I'm sure if I did use them every single day I would have hit pan already I use the most is petal pop in and I do have a significant dent in here already because I do use this one more than the other one. The other one that I use all the time is Strawberry Drip, which is this one. Um, but yeah, the formula is good. I have it on right now. I love it. Um, it sits so nicely on top of the powder foundation as well. And they snapped with the formula. The video was a mess. Uh, the comments in that video, I swear everyone's like saying that I was like a hater or something. I'm like, y'all must not know me then because... <laughs> I just I think it's so funny every time someone says that I like hate on Fenty and I'm like you guys must not know me at all like it's so funny because like I would literally die for Rihanna so I'm sure Fenty does not care like they can take constructive criticism it's not that big of a deal I got a little set yesterday from Fenty with a mini diamond bomb in here and a cream blush full-size cream blush and they're like the exact same size so that being said they are tiny this is a mini diamond bomb and it's the same size as the cream blush so they are small but I do recommend them because they are bomb if you're gonna pick up any I definitely would say just pick up one because I do think they are pricey for what you get you know next product this probably comes at no surprise because I literally raved about this in my video and that is the Fenty cream bronzer I have the shade macchiato and as you guys can see this is very well loved this is the best cream bronzer I have ever used absolutely fantastic the way that it just flawlessly blends out is just incredible I have never tried a cream bronzer better than this if we're being honest there probably is a, a lot of other ones but personally for me that I have tried this is the easiest, most user-friendly cream bronzer ever. You do not have to struggle to try to blend it out. It truly blends out like a dream. I cannot say enough good things about it. And whenever somebody asks me, like, what are some products that I definitely recommend from Fenty, this is definitely one of them. I killed it with the formula of these. It is so, so good. And I love the packaging. I love, I said this in my Gloss Bomb Cream video, but... I just love that all the cream products say cream on them. It's just so cute. I like that nice little added touch. The packaging is nice and sleek and luxe. And you get a good amount of product in here. Um, so yeah, for the price, I don't think it's bad at all. I'm not going to go too deep into these but because I just did a video on them. But I had to include them in here because they're amazing. Gloss Bomb Creams. They're bomb. I love this formula so much. I actually like this formula more than the original Gloss Bomb. They're just so good. I got four of them out of the five. I didn't pick up that mauve one, but all four of them are my favorite. I literally have gone back and forth between 
all of them since I purchased them. It's literally like the only lip product I've been wearing lately. Fenty Glow is literally the perfect everyday lip color. Honey Waffles is hands down so, so good. The Fruit Snacks is bomb. And then the other one, what is it called? It's in my purse. I don't know. I forgot what it's called. It's a darker brown one. Um, they're so good. They do last a while on the lips as well. I have worn them through the day and they honestly don't come off very easily. I don't notice that the color fades too much and it's just like that perfect cream colored lip gloss where it's not too sheer but it's also not extremely pigmented either it is literally perfect okay next product i'm telling you guys this was not intentional there's just so many fenty products um this actually did come out last year like beginning of last year and when i first got it i did not like it that much and then once i kind of started using it i kind of just like put it to the side and then i started using it this year and it's so good and it has become my favorite powder and that is the pro filter setting powder use the shade butter and the trick with this because if you use too much it's extremely matte and extremely drying and that was the issue i had at first because i was so used to my laura mercier powder where i can use a lot and it didn't really dry out my skin with this one if you use too much it will dry out your skin it's just about getting that perfect amount less is definitely more with this you do not need a lot and I use this to set my under eyes, I use this to bake now, and I use it like to clean up my contour, and it's not drying, it honestly leaves your skin so smooth and poreless, and there's a lot of products in here. I've been using this every single time I do my makeup, and there is still, I don't know if you guys can see, there is a lot of products in here still, like, it's, there's a lot. I thought it was almost out, and I am not out at all there is a lot of product in here because you do not need a lot this will last you longer it is a little pricier i don't remember how much it is but um it probably is around the same price as like the laura mercier one but i feel like i would go through the laura mercier one a lot faster this one i'm surprised i honestly haven't really like looked at it until right now and i'm surprised there's still so much product in here so I'm to absolutely love this powder and I will definitely be repurchasing when I run out because I love it. This color does add a nice little brightening effect to your under eyes if you use it in that area. It's not extremely brightening or anything like that. Consistency is a nice fine powder and yeah but if you do use too much it will dry out your skin. <laughs> it came out literally the day after Christmas last year so it doesn't even count for 2019. I'm gonna include this in here. This is the Fenty number no. one true neutrals palette. I want to talk about this really quickly because it's just you know it's a neutral palette and when I first got them I didn't really care for the formula too much but I feel like you can't go wrong with neutrals. I feel like for the most part when brands come out with neutral palettes the formula is usually okay. Fenty doesn't have my absolute favorite eyeshadow formula but this one I don't have any issues with and I literally use this palette so much like this has definitely been probably one of my most used palettes and it's so random because it's like tiny you don't think you would use it but it actually has everything you would need in a palette it has a cream colored shadow a darker crease color a deepening color and a couple lid colors and seriously i use this so much i had to include it in here because this was definitely one of my most used palettes um i use it in the last couple of of my videos as well and you guys can see it's just it creates such a nice natural eye look and I like little mini palettes I have a neutral palette I'd rather just have it small and this is just so perfect I keep this in my top drawer if I need to go somewhere I'll throw it in my purse it's just perfect you can snap them together with another one that's the like the nice thing about the snap shadows um but yeah this is definitely my favorite one out of all of them okay next it's not Fenty Beauty it's Fenty Skin okay um these two products right here are definitely standouts to me. These have been my favorite. I know you would think I would have ran out of this already, but um, the last couple months I've been slacking on my skincare. Hello, depression. We love that. <laughs> it's just the truth. Um, I just, I honestly haven't been doing my skincare that much. I think the entire month of September, I don't think I did my skincare at all. Like, at all. <laughs> Slacked off with my skincare this year, but these have definitely been my favorites. I think I'm almost out of my Hydrovisor. This is my favorite daytime moisturizer. It has SPF in it. I love the fact that you can refill it or you can just take this out and refill that when you need a new one. And I'm glad that they have the refills at Sephora now. It's just a lot more convenient. And this toner is so good. I love this toner so much. I keep this in my little skincare fridge and it is so nice when I put it on. It's just nice and cooling. 
it has really like just made my skin look really nice and bright and yeah I love these two products from Fenty Skin. Um, if you're going to pick up anything from them, I definitely recommend these two products. And you guys, this video is going to be so long. Okay, I have some more products. <laughs> There's so many still. Okay, I'm going to just talk about the rest of the products kind of fast because I feel like these are all really recent and I just kind of did videos on them. So let me just kind of speed through them. I'm done with the Fenty products. That was all Fenty. I'm so sorry that there were so many, but... They were all my favorites this year. Next, Chin as a whole was definitely a favorite of mine. I'm sure this comes as no surprise, but that was the Melt and Beetlejuice collection. Definitely my favorite collection that came out this year. Well, this one and the next one I'm going to talk about. Like I said, I'm not going to go too much into this because I have a whole video on them, but the both the palettes I was obsessed with, the entire collection was just absolutely perfect. This in the video, but I could not imagine a better collection collab like it was just absolutely perfect. It did not seem rushed. It did not seem like somebody just stamped a name on it and called it a day. Like they, it literally feels like the most thought out and just perfect collab ever. And I love them. The Recently Deceased is definitely one of my favorite palettes ever. I love these green shades in here. And the Waiting Room palette is just so good. I love these colors so much. The entire collection was just absolutely fantastic. And they knocked it out of the park with that collection. Like, it was so, so good. So, definitely the Melt and Beetlejuice collection. This one, again, very recent. But I had to include it in here because this was literally iconic. Terrible launch, but still iconic. The MCR and Hip Dot palette, it's just perfect. That's all I'm going to say about that. It was perfect. I love it so much. I love this palette and I know it was a really terrible launch. I don't want to talk too much about it because I just feel so bad of how terrible the launch was, but I had to include it in here because I really truly do love it. And um, I will just say this really quick. If you did not get your hands on the palette and you like MCR, I would just make sure to follow me on Instagram. Just saying. Okay, now we're moving on. Um, this is actually another palette that I feel like nobody ever talked about. And I loved it. I used it so much this year. And that was the Violet Boss Sweet Violet Palette. I love this palette. And it's definitely my favorite purple palette. It's my favorite color. It's literally so good. The pigmentation in here is incredible. It is so, so good. And Violet Boss, honestly, I feel like they were very popular before. And now I feel like they kind of just get forgotten and they're kind of slept on. But they do have a really good eyeshadow formula. And this palette is so good. They do sell it at Sephora, I believe, as well. And I have recommended it to so many people, especially if you like these colors, like this purple color scheme. It's really hard to find, like, nice purples. And this one is absolutely fantastic. I used it so much this year. Anytime I need, like, a bright fuchsia or a purple or something, I always use this palette. And it's so good. I love that it is the little um, smaller palettes as well, the fun size ones. It's just so good and yeah definitely feel like Violet Boss gets slept on a lot but this palette was another one of my favorites this year. We are making it our way down to the bottom of the list. Um, so the next thing I'm going to talk about are the House Labs Le Monster Matte Lip Crayons. I loved all of them but specifically Dust was probably my most used lip color of the entire year. I have never used a lip color this much. One I think is my second one and it is thrashed and I love the color of this is literally perfect and my perfect lip combo is actually what I have on right now. This is the Element Cosmetics Coqueta um, lip liner and this is on top of it. These two together are literally perfection. This is like my perfect lip combo. Color Dust is just so, it's like the perfect nude lipstick and I love it. The formula is amazing on these. They're so comfortable. They're like the most creamiest matte ever of the formula of these so much and dust um the red one i forgot what the name of it is but the red one is really nice the like darker berry color is nice dust if you like this like nude lipstick i'll swatch it like on its own so you guys can see um it's literally like the perfect nude lipstick i have one more house labs product and this is actually a newer product but when i first used it i was absolutely obsessed and i fell in love instantly this is the House Labs Gel Coal Eyeliner um, in the shade Punk. So this isn't their regular eyeliner, like the pencil eyeliner. This one is the Coal one, and I think I used this one in my MCR video. This is the creamiest black eyeliner ever. And if you like to do a nice, like, smudged out eyeliner, 
this is literally perfect let me show you guys how nicely this like smudges out it's like the perfect like smudging eyeliner I actually did my entire ghost face makeup look that I did with that eyeliner because it was so creamy and so black and I highly recommend this eyeliner if you like nice black coal smudgy eyeliner this is the one for you it is so good okay, next product I ever want to rave about mascara I don't care about mascara since I kind of stopped wearing full strip lashes this year and I kind of just started using mascara on its own this is the best mascara I've ever used this is the Huda Beauty legit lashes mascara one side has a volumizing side and the other side is a lengthening curl and lengthen side so this one is more like curved I would use both sides but I used the curl and length on its own all the time and seriously my eyelashes have never looked nicer they literally lengthen them so much they actually do curl your lashes volume side it does volumize and I wasn't wearing my like lashes for a while and I could literally just go with using this and call it a day and not feel the need to put on lashes and yeah if you guys haven't tried this mascara yet it is so so good and I love it since the day that I used this I think I got it in May I think it came out in May um, and the first time I used it, I remember I did a story on my Instagram because I was like literally shook with how good it was and I've been obsessed ever since. Next product. This is a newer product to me. I just got this like maybe a couple months ago, but it's what I have on my brows and ever since I started using it, I've been getting so many compliments on my brows. Even Ryan was like, did you do something new to your brows? So if, if Ryan notices, then I know it's good. This is a Milani Weekend Brow Brow Pen. It is so nice. The only thing is I wish they had some more colors in this because this one, even though like it looks like it matches right, na right now, if I take pictures, I notice that it looks a little red in pictures. Um, but I use the shade medium brown and see that's what it looks like. It literally creates like the perfect hair-like strokes. It's so nice. I just wish it was like a tad bit more like neutral or like a little bit more cooler. Um, and I think they only have three shades, but that's the only downside. But if it does match you, oh my god, it's so good. It does not smudge once it's on. It literally lasts all day on my eyebrows. I just love this so much. Last product, I do have some other products, but like last like makeup, beauty, skincare product. I thought I talked about this last year in my video, but I guess not. This is the Ole Hendrickson Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. This is literally my holy grail cleanser. I've gone through three bottles of this already um, since it came out, maybe maybe four. This is literally empty. I'm about to open a new one. I've gone through a lot of these already. This is my favorite cleanser ever. I love this cleanser so much. It gets rid of all my makeup. It leaves my skin feeling so nice. It does not strip my face of any oils. It just makes my skin feel so clean. It smells amazing too. Like it has the most amazing like citrusy scent. It has orange fruit water and PHA and I've recommended this to so many people. It's literally my favorite cleanser ever. It is like a gel consistency, but it's not like super drying on the skin. I think anyone can use this. Like I don't think it would be too drying for like dry skin because I was using this even when my skin was really dry and it's perfect. I love this cleanser so much. Pretty much like I have so much Ola Hendrickson skincare in my routine, but this one is like hands down the best cleanser ever. So we are pretty much at the end right now. I do have a couple more products and these are hair products because you guys know INH is my absolute favorite brand ever. The only hair things that I use. So I had to include them in here because they really, really freaking killed it this year. Like I'm so proud of Jordan and Sharon. I love them so much. I'm so glad to call them friends and I'm just so proud of everything they've done with INH. So with that being said, I do have a few products, but I I love everything they come out with. But I have a couple that I just need to talk about and I'm sure that these won't be a surprise to you guys. But the INH waiver, I use this every single day. It's what I have done to my hair right now and because I have naturally wavy hair, it matches my natural, so this is like my natural hair texture back here. This is just waving the front of it, and that's because I have like straight pieces towards the front. Um, but I have it right now, and you guys can't even tell like what the waver is and like what my real hair or like my natural hair is. And that's why I use this literally every day to just make my natural hair look better. Um, I do have a whole like hair tutorial on my Instagram under like my highlights of how I do this every day. This has been like one of my most used products this year. I do have a code with INH, it's just trained, so if you guys want to pick one up. I highly recommend it. The barrel size is literally perfect. It's not too big, but it's not too small either. It's like the perfect size. I think it's 25 
millimeters. I have two ponies that I used the most this year and I don't know if one of them came out last year but I use it a lot this year and that one is Brit. I wear um, Honey and all of their ponytails. Sorry it's a little tangled right now because I had it like thrown on my bed but Brit is the one with the soft curl at the bottom and I use this one so much. I'll put a picture of me wearing it here because it's hard to show it like this um, but they're my favorite ponytails. I wear them literally all the time. Just make my doing my hair so much easier and I cannot live without ponies. Like I don't know what I did before I had like clip-in ponytails. Like I hate doing my hair so like these are like the best thing ever so Brit is my absolute favorite. Other one that they launched this year was Lola and Lola is so freaking cute. It's like a little flipped pony and you can flip it like inwards so it's like this. You can flip it inwards or you could also flip it out. I'll put a picture on the screen of me wearing it. It's easier to show it like that and yeah this one is so cute and I love it because it's like short enough to where it, like, it looks like a different hairstyle, but it's also not super short where it's like unflattering. It's super flattering on, and I love this one so much. The last, last, last thing is the INH highlights, specifically in the red shade. These are my favorite things ever. I'll put a picture of me wearing them here, but these are just like little clip-in extensions. They come with a pack of two of them, and you can just clip them in wherever, pretty much. I always clip them in at the front, and you just kind of you know, I've worn them before. I'm sure you guys have seen them. You just clip them underneath and they're like little peekaboos or you could also clip them on top as well um, because they do have like, you can't really tell like where the weft is at and you could just clip them up here and have like little e-girl bangs if you want. But um, I love these because they just make me feel so powerful. I just really do it for my little emo heart, you know. We have made it to the end. Oh my God, I feel like I've been talking forever. There are so many products and it's so crazy because I didn't think that that many products came out this year, but I guess just, you know, this year has been a blur, but I've had a lot of favorites this year. So sorry, a lot of them were like from the same brand though. Like, I guess I'm a creature of habit when it comes to brands that I like, I don't know. but um. Anyways, that is it. It is finally the end of the year and this is my last video of 2020 and I'm just, I'm not excited to go into 2021. Honestly, I'm a little scared. I just, you know, I don't know. I'm being hopeful. I'm being, trying to be optimistic and just hoping for a better 2021, truly. A little bit of this already in my, my last video in my ColourPop favorites, but I just want to say thank you guys seriously so, so, so freaking much for all of the support this year. Seriously, I cannot thank you guys enough for how amazing you are. Um, obviously, it's been the worst year of my life, truly, and um, I'm just so grateful for you guys. Um, obviously, I'm finishing it off this year not the way that I would ever want it, but um, you know, without you guys and my friends and my family and stuff, I don't know how I would have gotten through the last couple months. It's been a rough, like, last four months, and yeah, so um, I just truly just want to say thank you. I've been so amazing and so understanding and just I'll never be able to forget all the messages that I got uh, when my mom passed away and you guys have just been so amazing and just so supportive and um, even before this like just even watching my videos just commenting like anything like it just means so much to me and I just feel so loved and um, not alone. I think I was gonna cry in this video but obviously there's a lot of emotions just thinking about going into a new year. Um, without my mom so you guys seriously thank you just for anybody watching this anybody who's just watched one of my videos commenting on commented on any of my videos my pictures just on Instagram leaving me a message a tweet like whatever makes me feel so like warm inside and just you guys have helped me a lot so so much through the years but especially this year so hoping for a way better 2021 for us all of us and I know a lot of us have really struggled this year and I just want to say that I love you guys so much and from the bottom of my heart like I care so much about all of you guys thank you guys so much for everything thank you for watching and supporting my channel and just helping me out so so much um I could never say thank you enough so anyways I love you guys I hope you have a good new year's eve stay safe please and I will see you guys in 2021 Bye.